Now, the death toll from the dreadful terror attack in Sri Lanka on Easter Sunday continues to rise with more than 300 people confirmed as dead as of now. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Hong Yu. So the Sri Lankan government we hear is now saying the Islamic State group has claimed responsibility. What are we hearing in regards to that? Well, as you said, Mark, the Islamic State group has claimed responsibility for the series of coordinated bombings at churches and high-end hotels across Sri Lanka, but they did not provide any evidence to back up their claim. IS made the announcement through a statement in its Amak News Agency on Tuesday, which identified seven suicide bombers that had detonated explosive-laden vests at the eight locations where the bombings occurred. The Sri Lankan Prime Minister acknowledged the claim during a press briefing in the country's capital, Colombo. Let's take a look. We, certainly the security apparatus of the view, that there, have, there are foreign links and some of the evidence uh, points to that. So if, uh, when the uh, ISIS claimed it, we will be following up on this claim. There was suspicion that there were links with the ISIS. That the investigators are making good progress in regard to uh, identifying the uh, culprits. Uh, but it means that we have to identify all the culprits and look at what the network is. According to multiple U.S. intelligence agencies, ISIS is believed to have been involved in the Sri Lanka attack by helping the radical Muslim group nations Tawahi Jaman. The involvement of a foreign organization would explain how a previously marginal domestic extremist group could have been capable of committing such a sophisticated and coordinated attack.